Hello, hello, welcome back, or welcome if you are new. The day has come. I am reviewing the new e.l.f. cushion tip applicators. Wow. So these just came out on the market, and when I tell you I ran to the website to buy these, my fingers were practically on fire. No! 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 And apparently now my fingers are still running. I bought some contour sticks, the blush and the highlighter from e.l.f. It was very limited because people were buying up all the colors and shades. So apparently all of these products, dupes for very, very popular products that are going around. Even though I've never tried them personally, I'm going to see overall the consistency, how they apply, and just if they are amazing as they claim to be. And if they are, they are a fraction of the cost of those other products that are out there. So as you can see, my makeup is pretty much half done. All I have on is a base with a little bit of concealer and some powder. So to start off, we have the contour sticks. So I have here fair slash light and light slash medium. I honestly was not sure which one to get, so I got both. So we shall see how it looks on my skin. So they come in this like tiny little tube, as you can see. It has a very tiny little cute Aww. sponge, which might actually be better than the bigger ones, only so you can be more accurate. So I feel like I might be better off going in with the fair light first. Okay, here we go. We're going in with the light medium. Oh, it is very gray. I am not used to it being this gray. I guess we'll just take this and blend it. Hello? So, I don't know if you can tell, I think the camera's picking it up a little bit, but in person, the sponge like disintegrated it. Like, hello, where did it go? I think instead I will go in with my brush. Taking a brush, and a stipple. It is definitely very light, like you need to be able to apply some more. I'm gonna go quickly in with the light medium and I'm gonna see if the color looks good on me as well. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit. Editing me here. That's not a little bit, that's a lot. And you're gonna quickly see the difference that the different shade makes. Okay. I can see it. A little intense. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta troubleshoot this. So definitely the light fair was a little bit light, but I do like the color of both. I feel like the light fair, if you are a lighter complexion, obviously it'll suit you, but I feel like it's very subtle. I feel like the light medium kind of warms up my skin a little bit better and it has a little bit more pigmentation, I think. I don't know. It blends very, very nicely. Like, I will say that. I'm also not anticipating to do anything crazy on my face, but... Can you see the difference? I actually really like it. Oh, and it has a little bit of a glow. That's cute, that's cute. I wanna do fully this one side first before I jump and finish the rest of my makeup. So next we're gonna be diving into the blush. I couldn't get the other colors, they were sold out. The blush in the shade Candlelit, and this is a the lightest blush that they had. I'm just gonna apply a little bit here. Ooh. Very light wash of color. Again, the Beauty Blender is taking away. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Let me see with my fingers, actually. Ooh, I like it. I definitely would like to try out the darker color, the one shade darker than this. It is very pretty. And by the way, I had a little bit of powder on my face and it is not caking up, it is not separating. It looks like it looks beautiful. But for testing sake, I will go in and I have the highlight color champagne. I usually go for like a lighter gold. And I'm gonna add very little and I'm just gonna use my fingers. And these are very full tubes, by the way. Okay. Not that I need it, but we shall test it. Look at that. Ooh. You see that? I... I need a moment. Listen, I'm not done like my brows or anything else, but just the face, beautiful, beautiful. Let me finish up the rest of my makeup and then I will come back and give like a final first impression review. Okay, so I'm back. I just quickly did really light makeup for the day and let me be totally honest. I am more obsessed than I thought I was going to be. The way that my skin looks with this, 
first of all, blends right in like a dream. Very easy to apply. I honestly really like and am happy that I got two different colors because I feel like, again, the light fair is more subtle, but the light medium warms up my face. So I could see myself using both. The coverage for everything, again, is very light and natural, but it can be built up and it's not cakey and disgusting. I really like the highlighter. It is poppin'. You literally don't even have to buy a highlighter, to be honest, but if you want a little bit of extra oomph, you could. All of it looks beautiful. It looks seamless. I love these products. These are gonna be now in my rotation. Like, these are amazing. And if you are someone who loves cream products or something more natural and easy to apply, I highly recommend these. I just can't believe how much I love these. So 10 out of 10, these are some great products. Elf, you're always out here killing it. Always making products that we are going to be obsessed over. So my review on the Elf Halo Glow Beauty Wands, two thumbs up, a thousand percent, go and try these. What I will say that I forgot to mention is my skin right now is very flaky, dry, and the makeup doesn't sit too well on it right now because I am transitioning my skin with tretinoin. But this is what my face looks like with the product, considering my skin is a little bit crazy right now. Look how nice it looks. Anyways, that was a very quick and simple review of the new e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty products. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this helped you make your decision if you wanted to try it or not. Let me know down below if you have tried them or if you are going to be trying them. And also, feel free to drop some recommendations of your favorite cream products. Anyways, I'm gonna get going, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Bye.